And we're back with working on the Z. Well, right before a road trip, that is. As a lot of you may know, I swapped the KA24 into this 300ZX. And a very common problem with KA24s is that they have a timing chain rattle. I'll start the car up so you guys can hear it. Not the best sound and definitely not the best thing to be going on, especially during a long road trip far away from home. So before I leave today, I wanna to pop off the valve cover and see if I can remove the upper guide, which is the most common fix for these. Then I'll also replace the valve cover gasket because we are dripping quite a bit of oil. It still has the same gasket on it from the junkyard when I pulled it. And we got a new OEM one ready to rock. We left off in the last couple of videos with slamming the car completely and converting the front suspension to McPherson. So it has S13 front suspension and an S13 engine now. And then we also extended the lower control arms to correct camber. Now it's sitting proper. Well, that one was loose. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're all loose. Okay, that one was tight. So this is usually the piece people remove. And it looks like mine hasn't broken off actually. It's kind of alarming. That means something else is making noise. I bet these are pieces of a timing guide. Huh. It's not alarming at all. You can see how much oil was seeping through the gasket. It's all wet. I think I am still gonna take off this upper guide, even though it still looks like it's in good condition. Just preventing it from grenading. Let's see what this new kit came with. That already looks different. Looks like the moons are built into it now. These are separate. Hmm. And it did not come with the center section, which is very unfortunate. Why would it not come with that? Man, this gasket's crusty. Oh, there we go. Clean up the valve cover. Lining up the new gasket, just smushing it in there. Now, a lot of times people like to put RTV in the corners. It's hit or miss for me if I do that. I'm probably not gonna do it on this one. The moons don't usually leak on the KAs. The B18, the Hondas, those leak. <laughs> Gasket's fully seated. Just flip it over now and reinstall it. Now, something else I wanna do is delete this rear wiper arm. It's not that it doesn't work or anything. Sometimes when I get in the car and try and start it, my hand will hit this switch right here. I'll show you. It freaks me out every time. Turn that off. So that's why I want to remove that. Looks like he's got to take off this lid. 12-ish millimeter. Such a tiny nut. You'd think it'd be bigger. So the way I like to take these off is pull this back and then jounce it. Now I'm sure you're probably wondering, uh, are you just gonna leave it like that? That looks even worse than before. Well, no, I plan to run a Blitz 03 on it instead. I'm just gonna drill out the center of it a bit more. Unfortunately, this wheel was warped, so it's no longer good for RC. That'd be a perfect decoration for my trunk, right? Now I can say I've drilled out the hub bore on a Blitz 03. Now I don't plan on using the nut to attach this wheel. I drilled it out so that the wheel is the threads. It's just the right size that the threads will catch it and tighten it. Rice or nice? You decide. We should probably start up the KA to see how it sounds. Forgot about that. Less noise or more noise? I feel like it's a little bit less, but I do still hear some timing chain rattle. We have just arrived at Final Bout, and even the parking lot to this event is insane. The drive wasn't too bad, it was like four and a half hours. But I also packed some spare parts in case someone has a collision or something. Got inner tie rods, lower control arms, nuts and bolts, you name it. Uh, let's go walk around the pits and see what other cool cars are here. Nice red coupe, hatch, R33, S14. Oh no, did he leave his lights on? Yeah, hopefully his battery doesn't die. Man, this car just has me in the feels. This is exactly how my S13 looked when I bought it. Well, maybe not exactly, but it was monster trucking and bone stock. So good. It looks like it's stripped brown interior. I think I've seen this car on Marketplace. I can't lie. Still a good base. 
They definitely built something great out of this. Is that stock? That font? Oh, I love this, Sylvia. Check out the front end on this. Straight out of the 90s. You can tell this bumper was imported because it's cut in four pieces to reduce shipping costs. So good. Some more good old S13s. The best car, S13 hatch. Man, an FC on R33 wheels, too good. Something I didn't know I needed in my life. Oof, even with the aero mirrors? Oh, those Bomex? I'm not sure. That's hot. That's so good. Now we enter the drift pits. Well, well, well. How was the drive? I'm not Dude. going. <laughs> yeah, it was a last minute decision, but I had to make it happen. Yeah, I saw your Instagram story. You're like, on my way. Okay. Yeah, the backpack style is here. Backpack. It's a break from the baby. This is my homie Nico, everyone. How's it going? And this is his RC car. And his real car. <laughs> I like the RC car better, to be honest. <laughs> what? It's easier to work on. It is a lot easier and cheaper. Yeah. You How know. much are wheels and tires? Hmm. So the front ones, $8. dollars <laughs> <laughs> $8. Dude, this thing turned out insane. I know. It's such a trip driving the car because like you get really immersed into it and I'm like dude this is my 180 but drifting you know like, I'm driving my own car Yeah I'm driving the whole car Dude you killed it Thank you, man. Oh you gotta put the stickers on the back window next Yeah I didn't have enough time but I, I do want to you know I need to finish like the taillights and everything but You put it together quick that was like three days Yeah only three days <laughs> I only painted I painted the body in like two hours and everyone was like Whoa how'd you do that I'm like I would do it just like hobby paint and yeah. stuff. It's pretty easy. You know? No, you, you killed it. It looks good. Thank you. And yeah. of course, 180 always looks good. Thank you, dude. Yeah. Best car. I wasn't even like um, preparing the 180. By the time I was finished with the RC car, I was like, wait, <laughs> wait. I get my car ready <laughs> yeah. for USA. I was like, oh, you gotta get man. the real car ready. Right? And I was like, well, I don't really care to be honest about the real car. I just wanted the RC car. Just wanted the RC car. I did actually. I, I really rushed to get the RC car. Freaking nerd. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good though. It's all good. Dude, this two tone coupe. The homie Zach's car. He just finished building this thing. Such good styling. This lavender frost two tone. Yeah, it's good. Pig nose front with lip. That's like top three favorite front ends of all time for me. Good job. Weren't some of these cars shipped over from Japan? Yeah, these two cars right here. What? Um, we got Origin, like Origin Japan. One of the guys who runs it, his name is Chunky Bai. Chunky? Chunky Bai. Wow. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> but yeah, they shipped the cars over from Japan and I think it's just like a, for no reason, you know, like a get together. For no reason? Yeah, you know, not a drift not? event or anything. No, I think uh, <laughs> Kogate Factory is affiliated with uh, Origin, so, you know. And also, other driver of the white S13, he like is a driver for uh, Stan's suspension. Oh, oh yeah. I saw Stan's on the side of his car. Yeah, yeah. We'll I get think, some clips uh, of it. Yeah, yeah. It's a, like a VA powered car. Not too sure. Hell yeah. But. Is this the same livery as the passengers Evo? It's pretty similar. <laughs> It's giving me the same vibe. It does, yeah. It's pretty... The, the color, you know, the color contrast. And even the piece in the middle. I don't even know what you call that. The tribal stuff? Tribal, yeah. Maybe the colors, though. Like the blue vinyl and everything. Let's go oh, take a look. Dude, this thing is hot. Dude, even this thing. Dude, the wheels that match the livery is just such a cool vibe. I know, right? It's definitely that, like, mid-2000s vibe. Definitely. You know? Like, luminescence 
wheel, like yellow orange wheel, green wheel. Pink FC, Big Wang, XT7s, yep. Back in the parking lot, the Katsui spotted something insane. What? Twin turbos out the hood? That's insane. Wow, good job. Good job. This thing is ready to shred. CJ came by. <laughs> Thank you, CJ. <laughs> Brought a Supra that Check he imported from Japan. JDM, D Max. D Max, can't go wrong. Dude, I love how the wing like stands are like metal looking. Dude, dude they are they metal. They feel like metal, yeah. They right? might actually be metal, actually. Dude, your car's getting wet. Oh, <laughs> dude, dude. Come dude. On. Mm. That is hard. With the windows down too? For real. Bro, put lights on that already. <laughs> Alright, I'll buy it from you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's sold. Yes, let's go. Dude, the wing is so good. Honestly. Oh my god, dude, that looks so sick. The taillights look good. You need to put lights on it ASAP. Let me show you my most recent purchase here. So we got some stickers laid out, right? So it was like Bomex. I need a piece together. It's a Bomex merch. Not only was there an original sticker from the 2000s, but also the catalog. I can't wait to open this and go over it later. I'm really hoping that there's a Z in here. Oh my god, is that a Gloria? Stop. I don't even know if Bomex made kits for the Gloria. In search of a Bomex kit for a Gloria now. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, I'm also piecing together a Bomex kit for my Tuning ZX. It's gonna be sick. The Nikkei yeah, hatch is yeah. always a pleasant sight, oh, no, but five lug on RG1s? Damn, that's good. Got the Miracle Brace too. Mm. <laughs> they're about to do competition driving, which is basically where the teams go out together and they're judged based on how close they are, how good their line is, how good the cars look. So let's check it out. was one very unfortunate crash on track. This thing unfortunately ran into the R34 here. This can definitely be saved. Can't wait to see him bring it back. I love the helmet with the donation sign though. Wish I had some money on me and dropped some in there. Maybe I'll come back. Damn, you never see R34 sedans here. It's so hard to find. Man, I love underhood paint jobs. I want to do something to mine. I don't know what. Comp is over, but drifting is not over. We're gonna begin night drifting now.
Well, stay too, but I'm gonna be heading out right now. I hope to return soon and drive Rio Bash. That is later this month. I wanna drift the S13 here. The event is the weekend of September 22nd, so hopefully we can get tickets for it. That's one of the hardest events to get tickets for, but if we get a ticket, we'll be there drifting. Now we drive this thing back four and a half hours. Oh, I should probably fill up that tire with air. Dang it. We are stopping for gas on the way back. We use exactly one full tank of gas for the way there and the way back. Pretty crazy. 85 bucks later. I'm really curious to see our gas mileage. While I'm entering in my fuel economy stuff, I might as well check my tire pressure since this tire doesn't like to hold air. Well, I guess it's not the tire's fault. It's the wheel itself it needs to be rebuilt. And the valve stem is behind the valve side logo. So it's not even easy to get to. Oh, 36. Not bad, not bad. We'll still top it off though. I just entered the information into my phone, which I'm filming on right now. We got 28 miles to the gallon. That's insane. That's the highest average that I've gotten so far. Highway cruiser. I'm just now realizing I forgot to mention who won the whole event and it was Team Proceed. They're actually some of the OGs of drifting in America in general. They've been drifting for around two decades at this point and we owe a lot of credit to them for the culture that they've brought over. Well deserved, well earned, and in the end they outdrove everyone and they won their very first final belt so congrats guys. And I also secured a ticket to Rio Bash so that means September 23rd and 24th I will be back at US Air drifting the S13. Right now I only have a Saturday ticket but I'm going to be looking for a Sunday as well and we have some maintenance to do on the car as well. So I need to start making an additional list for a drift prep. And also I want to add an oil cooler or something because I hot lap. I'm the guy that's out there all day just getting laps in and seat time. And RBs are known to have oiling issues. And I really don't want my RB to blow up so we're going to prevent that from happening. It really is difficult to document the experience of these types of events because there's so much going on, so much interaction. It's like non-stop dopamine. It's so hard to pick up the camera and film. Sometimes I forget. You're just so lost in the moment. And at the end of the day, it is good to live in the moment because that's what it's all about. Enjoying the passing of time. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Don't forget to drop a like in the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.